we're continuing the main 3 hardware with Objective 3.3, where we'll compare and contrast RAM characteristics. Think of RAM, or random access memory, as your computer's super fast temporary workbench. Data is loaded here from long-term storage for the CPU to work with. The bigger and faster your workbench, the more efficiently your computer can operate. Let's start with RAM form factors, which is just the physical size and shape of the memory module. The most common for desktop computers is the DIMM dual inline memory module. Dual inline means it has separate electrical contacts on both sides of the module for efficient data transfer. For devices where space is tight like laptops and many all-in-one PCs, we use a so dim, small outline dim. It's about half the size of a dim, but provides the same function like a compact car for data instead of a full-size truck. Next up, the technology that makes modern RAM so fast, DDR or double data rate. DDR memory cleverly transfers data twice per clock cycle, effectively doubling the data throughput compared to older memory. It has evolved through generations, DDR3, DDR4, and now DDR5, each one faster than the last. But here's a crucial point for the A-plus exam. DDR generations are not backward compatible. A DDR4 module will not fit in a DDR3 slot. To prevent mistakes, each generation has a physical key or notch in a different location. If the notch doesn't line up, it's the wrong type. Now, let's talk about data integrity with ECC versus non-ECC RAM. Most desktops and laptops use non-ECC RAM, which has no built-in mechanism for correcting memory errors. For critical systems like servers, where a single data error could be catastrophic, we use ECC RAM, error correcting code memory. ECC RAM can not only detect single bit errors, but also correct them on the fly, ensuring the system remains stable and data is not corrupted. Think of it as having a built-in, real-time proofreader and editor for your computer's memory. An older, less common type, parity memory, could only detect errors, not correct them. Finally, let's look at channel configurations. To increase the data highway's width between the RAM and the CPU, motherboards use multi-channel configurations. A single channel setup is like a one-lane road. Dual channel uses two memory modules in matched slots, creating a two-lane highway that doubles the memory throughput. Many systems also support triple channel or quad channel for even more bandwidth. To take advantage of this, it's essential to install memory modules in pairs or sets and motherboard slots are often color-coded to show you which ones to use for a multi-channel setup. So, for your a exam, here are the main ideas. RAM is your computer's high-speed temporary workspace. For form factors, remember DIMM for desktops, so DIMM for laptops. For speed, DDR transfers data twice per clock cycle, but different DDR generations are not compatible and are physically keyed. For reliability, ECC RAM detects and corrects errors, and it's essential for servers. And for performance, multi-channel configurations, dual, triple, quad, use multiple RAM sticks to increase memory bandwidth. That's our rapid review of RAM characteristics. As we're going through all this technical info, I just want to check in for a second. Because I know that feeling of watching tons of videos, having notes everywhere, but still not knowing if you're really ready for the pressure of exam day. It's a tough spot to be in, and it's easy to waste time just spinning your wheels. And that's exactly why we built the Tech Vault Academy ecosystem, to turn that uncertainty into a clear, confident plan. It all starts on our freebies page. Seriously. You can take our a readiness quiz to get a real sense of your starting point, or download the six-week study plan to get a proven roadmap. Then, when you're ready to master the content, we've got the toolkit. Our comprehensive practice exams, the brand new a flashcard decks for active recall, and our famous last-minute review slides to lock it all in. And maybe, most importantly, you don't have to do it alone. You can join our private community, the Tech Vault Hub, to ask questions, share wins, and connect with other students who are on the exact same journey. 
It's a full support system, and we bundle everything together in our mastery bundles so you can get the best value. Okay, that's it. I just really wanted you to know that that entire support system is there for you whenever you need it. You can check it all out, starting with the free tools at techvaultacademy.com slash free-resources. Thanks for watching Tech Vault Academy.